So a year ago I made a video on Ava Chris Tyson, then called Chris Tyson, and the situation with her transition and now I want to revisit that video, as well as add new points which I may not have considered in 2023, and talk about my overall viewpoints and how those may have changed with my newer and better understanding of MGTOW values and MGTOW principles and MGTOW interests. But with that being said, let's begin by playing the video. Hello guys, this is Igor Miktan Video Games and and I'm back. And I haven't uploaded videos in a good while, so I want to cover a few issues. Firstly, I want to say that YouTube is still a dangerous place for MGTOW content creators and primarily because they gave me a strike for a live stream I did around 2019 to 2020. I appealed but it was rejected, but however the strike was removed. Now on to what I should have... So here I made a point about YouTube not being safe for MGTOW content creators due to the fear of strikes and of channel terminations. This point still stands as YouTube still has a slight bias against MGTOW, even though that bias mostly went away for now. In 2023 I managed to accurately assess the situation with YouTube when it comes to making MGTOW content, and that assessment is still mostly valid. But let's move on. I have covered sooner, but will now cover it. The situation with Chris Tyson. Around April 9th, 2023, and I and many other people heard that Chris Tyson, who works for Mr. Beast, is becoming trans and was taking HRT, and I believe he is still taking HRT. I made a statement on my Guilted server about this, saying that while it is his right to take HRT and transition, I will not be endorsing the decision or support it, and that I have stopped watching Mr. Beast for the foreseeable future. Now what I want to address what I said now I want to address what I said here about HRT and Mr. Beast in general. Around early 2024, I started to realize it's better off to let trans women be women, and that there's no point in trying to convert them into being men again. This is because you you can't convert trans women into being men, cis men that is, and at most you can actually get is a closeted boy moding trans is a closeted boy moding trans woman, and I believe that having a male gender full of half-hearted closeted boy moding trans women is against our interests and will only bring in more unnecessary burden that we would have to deal with that we shouldn't. I believe that the male gender should be filled with men who are proud to be men and who do not have dysphoria or wish to become a different gender from us. It is for this reason among many others why I recognize and view trans women as women, and why it's and it's a good thing to recognize trans women as women as it allows us to get rid of this potential burden and allows us to wash our hands clean from them and the culture war and it's also our opportunity to separate the wheat from the chaff and allow us to create new and sensible policies and it's also absurd to stop watching an entire YouTube channel because one of its producers realized they were trans that's where I was wrong in 2023 by c completely boycotting a YouTube channel but let's begin but let's continue now it's June 5th, 2023, and as of writing this script, and a lot, a lot of time has passed. Now it's time to talk about my opinion. My opinion then, and my opinion now, are generally the same. So my view is that Chris Tyson can take HRT and transition, and generally do whatever he wants, but it is also my right not to endorse such decisions or support, or support them or support them, so that's what I will do. I will not endorse or support the decision because I generally do not support transgenderism. What I want to address here is my statement of I will not endorse or support a, tran or support a decision because I generally do not support transgenderism. What I now realize is that this whole notion of transgenderism and gender ideology existing as a political ideology is completely false and a lie created by the TERFs who are simply trans-hating feminists and conservatives to justify an illegitimate and completely unnecessary culture war against trans people. This culture war does nothing to help MGTOW and MGTOW values, and gives no benefit to us MGTOWs, only wasting time and resources. The only reason I even was anti-trans was because I thought trans people were trying to destroy MGTOW, and MGTOW values, and if you defend MGTOW values, it's natural that you would oppose those who you think are trying to destroy them. What is actually the case, though, is that trans people are not here to destroy MGTOW. They just want to live in peace as they are 
and not have to deal with the culture war that those against them, who are also against Victor, are actively waging. The only people benefiting from a culture war against trans people are trans-hating radical feminists and trad cuck conservatives, both groups who would instantly attack MGTOW the moment they had the chance. The first group hates trans people, simply because they hate men in general and see trans, wo trans women as, as just men in dresses, which is false. The second group seeks to restore traditional values, in particular traditional relationships and marriage and relationship dynamics of religion a as part of society. This group therefore needs trans people, either invisible or not to exist as them existing would stop their agenda from being implemented. This is the same group of people that's anti mikta and that's trying to ban surrogacy in IVF. We MGTOWs don't benefit from any of this and only really want male-only spaces. And we can keep those male-only spaces without fighting trans people. And I believe we can arrive to a negotiated solution that benefits both sides. Essentially, I believe that instead of the MGTOW community and trans community fighting each other, we should instead fight together against our common enemies, especially as radical feminism and conservatism is our common enemy. And more so given that both are fighting ag against us. With that being said, this has been Igor Mikta and Video Games. Like and subscribe and click the bell notifications on YouTube if you enjoyed the video. And follow me on odyssey.com, mikta.tv and Twitter. And uh, join my Gilded and Revolt servers and bye bye. Thanks for watching.